Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to the Fort Salem Library, where we read you your fanfiction. So sit down or don't, relax or don't, and enjoy these stories in a way you have not before. We at Fort Salem Library do not own Motherland Fort Salem or any of the related characters. The Motherland Fort Salem series is created by Elliot Lawrence and owned by Freeform. This story is a work of fan fiction and is meant for entertainment only. We are not making any profit from these stories. All rights of the original Motherland Fort Salem story belong to Freeform. We also do not own This Isn't Goodbye, is it? Or any of its original characters and storylines. We did, however, get permission from the author to read their story. This story was created and written by SparkleGirl54, and you can find the link in our show notes. This story is being read to you by Celine. This isn't goodbye, is it? The helicopter was loud, the mother's message both confusing but also fundamentally understood. They were goddesses now. The unit who changed the world, who defied all the odds out against them, who survived the unserviceable. Things that should have killed them, failing, falling to the side, forgotten pieces of history now. Unimportant, as they said, side by side, facing the woman who had been an inspiration and mentor figure to them for a little over a year. The woman to whom, for Tally, had been a guide, who had been safety, had been what she needed to see. The woman, the witch who was now making her final goodbyes, the mother demanding return for her time back on the living plain. She watched as Sarah Alder stood crouched in the bat, blue eyes staring into her own for the briefest of moments, before sharply twisting away. Turning and stepping, she faces Abigail, gently holding her sister's face in her hands. Tally watched as she leant forwards to press a soft, short kiss to the blaster's forehead. Repeating the action on Rael, Gently cradling the fixer's head in her hands and pressing a soft kiss to her forehead. Those blue eyes came to face her yet again, finding a peace and love she had not seen before in the face that had for so long held restrained anger and fear. Just like with her sisters, her unit mates, Sarah reached up, gentle hands to hold her face, fingers curling slightly under her jaw, the tips of fingernails poking the skin where her throat connected to her head. She felt her head raise upwards, wanting desperately to see the face of the person she'd admired for so long for what could be the last time. Not daring to close her eyes as Sarah leaned ever closer, each millimeter felt like it took a century of its own. It was too late when she realized that Sarah was too low to reach her forehead. But still, she did not want to move. She did not want to look away. This might be the last time she would see her, and she wanted to remember every moment of it. Their noses brushed slightly, and the bat shook gently from a bout of turbulence. They froze for a moment before Telly pushed herself forwards, slightly. Moving into Sarah's hands, she tilted just enough to slide her nose next to Sarah's, just enough for the gap between them to close and for soft lips to meet her own. It was over all too soon, her eyes closing for only a second, before the peace she had been gifted was moving steadily back, Hands still on her face, a slight nod before she watched, with tears brimming in her eyes as Sarah opened the door to the bat and stood on the ledge, gripping a handle, balanced between worlds. When they call you goddesses, make sure you live up to it.
she said, before disintegrating into the wind, just as she would do into the earth. She looked over at her unit mates, her sisters, eyes locked as they reached for each other's hands. Chasemeava, they chanted in unison. They would talk properly later, for now they had a world to see, a world to witness, a world to change. Please find the fanfiction you just listened to on Archive of Our Own and leave the author some love. Without them, this wouldn't be possible, and we want to thank them from the bottoms of our hearts for creating these amazing stories and keeping the show alive.